magazines. So you looking for clips and magazines and assault weapons? I got this thing for you. Play. Hold on a second. So you want to take square root of dumbass, and then you're going to divide it by negative 500. So that's D divided by negative 500. It's going to give you, it's going to give you overall people a stupid to third power. But you got to make sure you carry that two over. Yeah, I got this thing for you, man. You talking as MD Ready. My name is Mark. Uh, quick topic today is going to be less than assault rifles or less than assault weapons part two. So uh, as I kind of briefly discuss in a daily discussion, um, <laughs> I, I just kind of came up with this after having a discussion with the coworker, and I, and I you know, went into it earlier saying that um, just because a person was in the military, law enforcement, um, security, doesn't mean no damn thing about firearms. It's proven. Um, maybe they go shoot a couple times a year to qualify, um, but they could have did finance, could have been the admin, a cook or something, so that um, no disrespect to anybody, but you know, who, who's is in that field. And I definitely want to thank uh, people who are serving our country, serving our state, also uh, serving, you know, local police department, even securing certain government facilities. I definitely appreciate it. Thank you for your service. So please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. But do understand that. The media is heavily influencing people, um, especially in the 2A community. Um, and then you have folks, uh, black folks, who just jump around on a bandwagon. So it is what it is. Now, don't do that. It's not good for you. Um, if you don't know what you're talking about, like I said before earlier, be quiet. So, clips. Yes, stripper clips. They want to ban uh, high capacity mag. I'm glad I don't have any high capacity. I, regular standard capacity magazine that goes into my Mini 14, which is clear. Uh huh. Barrel strut, nice barrel strut, hollowed out. More Reaper muzzle brake, thousand lumen uh, light. Pretty cool. But, any event. So, huh. Good people will do good things with uh, farms or whatever they have, right? Bad people are going to find some way to do something devilish, evil, um, you know. So, but in any event, I say that to say that, you know, after doing that little demonstration with my coworker as far as showing her the Woodstock Mini 14 and the problem with Stock 1, she just had this emotional change when it came to the problems of, oh my God, evil, bad. So, um, it's sad, man. It's terrible. Also, I wanted to jump into uh, NFA items. Um, you guys may know about the National Farm Act. I think the 1930-something or 40s, but in the 30s and 40s, uh, NFA came about, and what it was to do was to regulate short, certain items like short bill rifles, short bill shotguns, um, and you have to pay $200 tax stamp. The good thing is, that two hundred dollars back in the thirties and forties was a lot of money. Now nothing has changed as far as the cost, but um, I honestly think it was done because there were a lot of people probably, you know, two hundred dollars back then was probably like two grand. They just didn't have it to to cough up in order to put together an SBR or something to that nature, but uh, or to get a suppressor. But um, yeah, demolish the NFA. It's no need. The ATF can do whatever they need to do. Um, and you also got to realize that the federal government, it, of course, it oversees quite a bit, but they're governing adults. <laughs> adults have firearms, right? Not saying that kids don't get a hold of them, criminals get a hold of them, but just like adults drive vehicles, of course, you get your license 16, but primarily. You know, we're your provisionals. You don't get your full-fledged license until you're an adult, at least in Maryland. So if we get your license and you're an adult, you understand the law and you understand that if you break the law, there are consequences, right? 
You understand that you lose, that you can possibly lose your right to drive a vehicle and be an operator of a vehicle. The same applies with firearms. If you break the law, you're screwed. And knowing that it's law abiding citizen, I think that we're competent enough to understand that if we do something wrong with these devices, we're going to be in a bad situation. So, for all these laws, like, why? Anyone have laws on top of the laws? But if your current laws already are not being um, executed or properly carried out or so convoluted and nobody can understand what it means, then it doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, a criminal does not care. A criminal likes gun control. A criminal, you, you can have a thousand laws. Matter of fact, take all the guns in the world, like I said earlier, and criminals aren't going to care. They don't have anything to lose. Well, maybe some do, but um, they don't care about these crazy gun control laws. So, let's get rid of the NFL. I mean, come on, really? Let's, let's do a vote in real quick. Who's in favor of getting rid of I, because I wouldn't mind having, you know, an SBR, but I don't want to do the paperwork and, and have to freaking, every time I, I want to leave town, I got to call the ATF or call whoever and say, hey, I'm going out of, out of the state to go to a training class. Um, I don't want to take my suppressor with me. I want to take my SBR with me, or SBS. It's not worth it. It's, it's just crazy. So all in all, guys, um, yeah, let's, let's continue to ban assault weapons. Because I don't know a damn person who has one. So, with that being said, <laughs> I know it's a short and sweet, but I'm just, you know, thinking some stuff today, man. But anyway, pray for this added some value to uh, uh, your thought process, especially when it comes to farms. If you hate farms, we'll keep you in prayer. If you love farms, we're definitely going to keep you in prayer because you, it's easy to become a gun addict. It's dangerous, you know. Get your kids involved in guns and cars and they won't have money to buy drugs. No, make them invest. Don't, don't, don't do that. That's not good for you. But anyway, God bless you guys. Take care and have a great day.